Hi Spiritual Superstars, I'm Nicole and welcome to our weekly spiritual guidance for September 4th through doo -doo 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 -doo, September 15th. So we're going to go all through part of the week to the new moon. We have the new moon in Virgo and we also have this beautiful energy of go hard, go strong in innovation. It's in new beginnings, and it's in whatever that upgrade is. So this is a really good time to improve upon yourself and to, looking at my calendar here, plan it out, really give some thought to your projects, whatever your project is. It could be love, it could be business, it could be personal, um, spirituality. And let's see what else we have here. Wow, this is a really strong week to be disciplined in your craft. This is also that deep, passionate love. So this is really not superficial love at all. Great time to pour your energy in that. This is about loyalty. This is about I need to know you understand me and appreciate me type of love. This is great. This is a great week and a half for everyone. So for right before we begin, I wanted to share with you um, something that's coming in as a product. We're going to have prayer beads and I wanted to show you just how powerful <coughs> excuse me, our prayer beads are. So I'm just going to pull um, our love beads here first. I'm going to show you it looks a little bit like this except yours is going to be a lot bigger um, and this is for your manifestation needs so you'll have 11 for specifically manifesting true love of twin flame and soulmate or reigniting that true love so it's specifically for romantic manifestation and then you're going to have 11 stones and crystals specifically to manifest abundance and thriving energy in every other area of your life. So let me just show you very quickly how powerfully infused our prayer beads will be. Now I've already gone through um, the greater part of what I do to infuse our prayer beads with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so what you're going to see is this means yes, this means no, okay? And so just to show you just how powerful they really are. Let's see if you can get a good look now. My hand is going to move a little bit because I'm part human. So if I rest a little bit, I'll try to rest it on the camera. So let's see if you can see. No, I'll just let you gauge it. You can see about where my hand is. Now in order for it to move up, I would have to literally go like this. In order for it to move back, I would literally have to go like this, right? I would have to shake it in order for it to go. I'd have to give it a little boost. Okay. Divine Source, is my name Michelle? Is my name Michelle? Thank you so much for showing our spiritual superstars. Thank you so much. Is my name Michelle? Now, as the Holy Spirit surges through me, it is so powerful. My goodness. It's a great feeling. It's overwhelmingly just beautiful. And you see how positive and how powerful God's energy is. Is this the Most High? Is this the Most High's energy? Is this divine source? Is this God? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are so grateful. Lord, thank you so much. Now I want you to really gauge my hand. Is there any ungodly energy infused in our prayer beads? Is there any ungodly energy 
infused within our prayer beads. Thank you so much. God is really going to let you know. Thank you so much, Lord. So that there's no doubt. Wow. If I could really explain the energy, <laughs> I don't have to. <gasps> oh, goodness. Feels so good. Let me tell you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Is my name Nicole? Is my name Nicole? Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is my name Nicole? Is my name Nicole? Thank you. Ooh, my arm my arm is tired. <laughs> Are these prayer beads fake? Is this a gimmick? Can they expect to manifest using our prayer beads? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So fill your hearts with integrity. Um, Pre-order your prayer beads by clicking the link below. Thank you so much. And they will come with a little sheet that tells you exactly how to use them and exactly what crystal and stone you have and what powers they bring from Earth Mother. But as you can see, they are powerfully infused and totally blessed with divine love. Thank you so much, Divine Source. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The new moon in Virgo. I'm going to try to come over live, but we've got so much launching on that day, and it's a very special day. The veil is revealed. So the fog is lifting. We've got clarity coming in. If you feel like you can't quite see things, you can't see the forest for the trees, or you feel like you've been deceived, you're going to receive clarity. It's really going to, the curtain is removed. You're going to see past those blinders. Keep going. This is the workhorse. This is Virgo energy. Virgo energy says persevere and get through it. And we've got that take charge energy really on the 10th. It's going to be just magnified. Starting on the Sunday, on, on the 9th. So my beautiful spiritual superstars that are highly sensitive to energy, you're going to be feeling it. You probably already are feeling it. Use it. You know, that veil is lifted to show you exactly which path to go in, how to manifest your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams. And if you haven't picked up our ebook, it's it's a best selling ebook and I put it on there for free please download it while we still have the free copy thank you so much and the links are down below thank you so much all right that full release with 28, the spiritual meaning to 28 is accept and receive that support. This is unity, togetherness, but things are coming full circle. So your affirmation this week is, I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. Can you see that? I hope that got clear. Thank you so much. 
And then we've got our earth energy. Earth element, six. And we got Venus with the number six, balancing it out. This is the Virgo new moon on the ninth. I gracefully, I gratefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me. Yes. Find your bliss with 15. And this is also gaining control over your ego with a spiritual meaning to number six. I am following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul purpose. There you go. And with 15, we get six again. So we've got that balance and we've got this new beginning, this new moon with one, and we've got a karmic change with the number five. So this energy is going to bring a, a really profound change in your life. The way that you go about life, the way that you go about your day-to-day -day is going to change if you allow it. And it will be for the better. Okay, so let's ask and call upon our spirit guides. I am seeing a lot of crows, a lot of ravens already. When you see them grouping up in the sky, I want you to count them. I see an elk. I see a crane. Stand tall. Remember your dignity. Stand up for yourself. Don't be deterred. Any confusion that you feel, give it a minute. Just pause and listen to the unspoken using your spiritual gifts. There we go, and there we go. Thank you so much. Zebra. All right. We got the spirit of the cardinal here. They take care of each other. Did you know that they feed each other? I see the, the male cardinal feed the female all the time and feed the babies. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. And what did we just say about six? Okay, so we have the spirit of the cheetah here. Get clear on your intention. Stay focused. Move quickly to achieve your goal. This is the workhorse energy. Virgo gets it done. Let go of your fear. Remember, you're releasing it. And know that you are safe and you're protected at all times. And I want you to say that. I am safe. I am protected at all times. And I will not give up because I know the truth now. And I'm not going to fear it. I'm going to go right in and use it to my advantage. Well, that was really quick, wasn't it? All right, what do we have here? <gasps> Please, Lord, thank you so much. You see how God is? Wow. Now, let me tell you something about three sixes, where all of the uh, people that, that first thought that they would make that a, a negative number, it is not. Do you know what it means? It means powerful balance okay it also means in triplicate if you multiply it it is six times three which is 18 and that means actually abundance that actually means this is a new beginning that is blessing your life with thriving energy with manifested manifested goals with things coming into fruition and it's the end of one cycle of life to the beginning of a powerful new one it's telling you to remember to be of service to be the humanitarian and the advocate and ultimately balancing out if you're working hard play hard if you're playing hard work hard if you're pouring more energy into your romantic love life, pour energy back into your friends and vice versa. If you've given up on love, it's time for you to give into love. So let's check it out here and let's see what it's all about. Advancements. This is a time of change. 
for you in, phys in the physical realm. That means the life that we live in. And it may involve making some big decisions. Whether it pertains to changing jobs, making a career choice, beginning or ending a relationship or a cycle of life. Or moving to a new home, you have some choices you need to make. Trust yourself to make the right choice. Your guides are working with you to help you gain clarity and to move forward in your life. Look at that. See? Stay true to yourself. Remember what they said when they showed me the crane and the elk. And follow your heart's calling. These changes are definitely for the better, both physically and spiritually. Awesome. You're stronger. Do you know who this is? Earth Angel. Wow, okay? We're so blessed. We're so blessed. You truly are an Earth Angel. It is time to recognize and honor the beautiful spirit that you are. Once we are incarnated, we forget who and what we truly are. Now is your time to remember, claim your wings, knowing you really do make a difference in the lives that you touch. You have many loving angelic beings with you to support you on your divine path. Feel safe, dear love, in allowing yourself to follow the path that you are guided to walk. Whatever that path may be, honey, you are ready to spread your wings and fly. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We got one more. Where is it? There it is. I see it. Go. Wow, powerful, powerful week. Lovely. Thank you so much. Oop, that was me, totally. Thank you so much. Not giving up, releasing the past, releasing how you did things. Remember, you're not who you were. You are who you're becoming. And sometimes, you know, we do have to improve ourselves, right? It's not always the other person. It's not always the other people. Sometimes it's the way we've always been doing something and we expect to get different results. We have to change things up. You are perfect just the way you are. However, you're no longer who you were two seconds ago. So you're always changing, okay? You're always changing. <laughs> Don't you love God? Let me tell you something. Oh my goodness. Okay? Love God. Direction, illumination, and active growth. The Father-Son energy represents a period of active growth. Thank you, Lord Osiris. Look at that's his woman right there, Goddess Isis. Thank you so much. And you know, I got to show you her on my arm. You know that. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Okay. So, the father-son energy represents a period of active growth. The energy around you at this time is bountiful. If you use it wisely, directing it toward future goals, your progress will be great. Set boundaries, be assertive, and direct the changes you are working towards. The sun energy illuminates the shadow side of the self and the path of coming into your own power. Sometimes, these realizations can be painful and require some sacrifice. Clear the way for progress to occur. Even though the path to enlightenment can be a real challenge at times, with the sun's energy, you can conquer your fears through the process of self-illumination. Now is the perfect time to do so. The sun is a reminder that each of us has opportunities every day to make a difference in the world. Shine your light on others and help them to see more clearly. And here is our prayer. Divine Source, please help me to recognize my own inner light 
so that I may project positive, loving energy out into the world and work towards achieving my goals with clear direction. Well, honey, thank you so much for tuning in. I look very forward to um, making your prayer beads and receiving your testimonies on your or testimonials on your manifestations. Dear love, take great care. Honey, I love you. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, that little alarm down there so that you'll know when we do come over live and when we do upload a new spiritually guided video. I love you and I thank you so much for your support. Mwah. Don't forget to join our membership 30 days free of spiritual guidance coaching, and advisement that you cannot find anywhere else. Love you. I'll talk to you soon.